Hello there. In this question, we're given a straightforward cubic equation, and we're asked to solve it. We're not given any factors and no roots, so in the absence of any of that information, all you can really do is use trial and error to try and find some root, and then when you find a root, you can form a factor, divide it in, form another factor, and get the solutions from that factor. So what we're going to do is use trial and error, and here's a tip. Uh, when there is a whole number solution, uh, it'll usually be a factor of this term here at the end, the constant at the end. So we're looking for some number which is a factor of 11, and there are only really uh, four candidates here. We have, uh, we're going to try uh, 1, minus 1, 11, and minus 11. And um, we'll just sub it in and see if we get zero, see if it's in fact a solution. So I'll try, I'll try one, uh, and I'll, I'll just sub it in. And, uh, and let's see what I get. I get, uh, I get one, minus three, minus nine, plus eleven. So that gives me one plus eleven is twelve. Take away 12, which is 0. Well, that's good. I don't have to try the other ones. So that means that uh, 1 is a root. And that also means that x minus 1 is a factor. So now what I can do is I can divide x minus 1 in and form another factor which will be a quadratic factor. So let's do that. And if we look at the wording in the question, it says, write any irrational solution in the form a plus b times root c. Probably when we get our quadratic factor, uh, we'll have to use the minus b formula. So that's just a, another, t another tip there for you. So x into x cubed goes x squared times. Now multiply x squared by x minus 1, and we get x cubed minus x squared. Now we're subtracting that from the line above, so another way of doing that is change the signs and add. So the x cubed cancel. And then minus 3x squared plus x squared is minus 2x squared. Now divide x into that and we get minus 2x. Multiply minus 2x by x minus 1 and we get minus 2x squared plus 2x. Okay, bring down the minus 9x. Again, we're subtracting this line from the line above. So let's change the signs and add. And the minus 2x is cancel. The minus 9x minus 2x gives me minus 11x, which is looking good. x into minus 11x goes minus 11 times. And if we multiply that through, we get minus 11x plus 11 bring down the plus 11, and if we subtract this from the line above, we can see that everything cancels. Or if we go the same way, subtract, and or change the signs and add, everything cancels. And we're left with 0, which is what you should be left with, because we know that x minus 1 is a factor. So it should divide in evenly. OK, so now we have our quadratic factor. What's the next step? We need to get the solutions of that. So we need to solve x squared minus 2x minus 11. I suspect, well, equal to 0. I suspect that the solutions are irrational because of the wording of the question. So I'm going to go straight to the minus b formula. So a is 1, b is minus 2, c is minus 11. So we can say then that x is equal to minus b, which is minus minus 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 2 to b squared, minus 4 times ac, and a is 1, and c is minus 11. And that's all over 2a. Make sure you write that, uh, or make sure you put that line across the whole lot, not just the bit under the square root sign, but the, all, all of it. Okay, so minus minus 2 gives me plus 2, plus or minus. Uh, square of minus 2 is 4, and then minus 4 by minus 11 is plus 44. 
all over 2. So that's uh, 2 plus or minus root 48 over 2. Now root 48, if you put that into your calculator, will give you 4 times root 3. And we can see why, because this is uh, plus or minus root 16 by root 3. Because 16 threes is 48, so you can split it up like that. So that's 2 plus or minus 4 root 3 over 2. And the 2 divides into both parts goes in once there and goes in twice there. So we actually get 1 plus or minus 2 root 3. So now I can write out my three roots and I was asked in the question to put it in the form a plus b root c. So I don't write these as decimals at all. So the first root was x equal to 1. The second root is 1 plus 2 root 3. And the third root is 1 minus 2 root 3. And that's the solution, the three solutions of this cubic equation. So that was a fairly straightforward question. Just uh, use trial and error to find a root by subbing in. Once you found it, then form your factor, divide it in, get a quadratic factor, and then use the minus b formula to solve that, and we have the three roots. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.